If you use Anchor as your podcast host and you use WordPress as your WordPress CMS platform, then I'm going to show you how you can um, embed your Anchor player into your WordPress using a plugin. It's super easy to do that. You don't need to pay anything. It's just kind of interlinking your RSS feed. And yeah, I'm going to show you how did it do it. So without further ado, let's begin now. One, two, three. All right, so let's start first on manually embedding your Anchor episode. And then I will walk you through after for the player, okay? So in the WordPress, like any types really of custom post type, whether it is a post or a pages or your custom post type, you can embed your individual player or individual episode from Anchor to your WordPress website. And I'll show you how. So for example, um, we will create a test page in here. Again, you can also put it on the post thing. It really depends on you. So if you have a custom post site for, let's say, a podcast, then that would be, that would also work. So what we do in here, actually, let's just jump into the post. So we have this um, so-called post. And then this is the, like, this is our podcast. So this type of adding of anchor should be done manually. So every time you have a published episode, you need to embed your player. And there is also a automated way. I'll show you later how to do it. Okay. So let's start first. So this player in here is an embed code. Okay. So where you can get this embed code. So simply go into your anchor FM. Okay, and then go to the episode. And then, so these are your episodes. So if you want, you need to choose, of course, the title. So click the title, and then you click this part here called Copy Embed. Okay, and then you need to put this there. Okay, whatever, whichever you prefer. If you wanted to put it after the title, then that would be great. So here, if I open that up, if I embed that code and update that, um, there is some problem issue with the width and we will fix that later. So if you embed that, you'll see that the embed player is so short. So how you can make that full width, okay? So you just need to change the width from 400 pixel, which is the default of Anchor Emet, Anchor FM, you just need to change that to 100%. Okay, so if we update this one, okay, and then refresh it, you'll see that the player is already full width. Okay, now what if you want to have a automated player? Like every time there is a recent episode, I don't want to keep adding a post in my WordPress website. I just want them to see the players, like all of the player of Anchor FM, and then all of my recent episode, hopefully just maybe 10 of my recent episodes. So how you can do that. Okay, so Anchor doesn't have a embed player thing. So we need to use an RSS feed. And then we also need to use a plugin. Okay. So on the plugin area, you need to install a so-called anchor. I'm not sure if I already put that here. Let me just search that. Okay. So I installed a plugin called anchor episode index. Okay. So you copy that. If you click add new there and you search this word anchor episode index you just need to activate this part okay and then you should see this one once you already activated a plugin you'll see this anchor episode okay and the anchor episode you need to put in your anchor site url and your anchor rss feed so what is your anchor 
site URL. So your Anchor site URL is basically when you log into the Anchor and you go into the this area. Hold on. So let me just copy that. So if you click this one, so you go into your Anchor FM and you click this view public site. Okay. And then this is your Anchor, um, what do you call that? Anchor um, site. So you need to put that there. Now, where you can access your Anchor RSS URL, okay? So to access that, simply go into the update settings and then scroll down. And there should be an options in here. Let me just double check that. Um, yeah, Anchor. Let's see to the Anchor. Yeah. So you need to go into Anchor availability. And then this is your RSS distribution. So you click that. And then you put it in this side and then save. So that's basically how it works. Now, if you want to activate this anchor player, you need to copy this short code. Okay. So let's say I want that to be activated on a specific page. So I'm going to let's just throw some. So let's just use a test i hope i have a test page in here let me double check that okay they don't have a test page but yeah let me just create a new page here and let's name it test and then look I'll, I'll embed the short code okay and if we top open that you'll see that the player is already embedded the recent episode is already embedded okay there are some options actually to just let me double check that so you can see here so there is just a little bit of delay but if you can see this layer this is the recent episode that we just published and then the rest of your episode. So that's basically how you can embed your player. WordPress.org. I'm referring to the WordPress.org. Now for WordPress.com, Anchor has this automated integration. So you just need to click this connect to WordPress. And then it will basically, when you have a WordPress account, or when if your website is hosted in wordpress.com not in wordpress.org because they are different so you just need to log in your email address here and your password since we don't use wordpress.com so i cannot show you how it works but if you're using wordpress.com log in your credentials and just follow the wizard instruction to to connect your anchor to your wordpress.com so what will happen is every time there is a new episode in anchor.com or there is a new episode that you uploaded in anchor.com, it will create another post into your wordpress.com. So you don't need to manually add that just like what I'm doing right now, like create a post and then embed the player you don't need to do that if you are using wordpress.com that process is only i mean the manual embedding is only applicable for wordpress.org again that org and that com are different so i hope that makes sense and if you have any questions or concerns don't forget to comment down below thank you